Okay, so I have already cut my uh, back leg the first 22 and a half degree angle here. Uh, now, that back leg uh, measures 17 and a quarter inches. So, um, and we have the same angle down here at the end. So I'm going to come down here, mark off my uh, 17 and a quarter. So make sure you go off of uh, the edge because that right there is the intersecting point uh, is where this 17 and a quarter mark meets that edge. So let me move my tape measure out of the way, come back now with my speed square. Pivot at that point to my 22 and a half degrees. So making sure that I'm lined up there and then I can go ahead and scribe my line. So, so you get your line scribed. Now flip it over again, kind of get yourself used to manipulating this square around to where you can see and line everything up. So so, follow that line. Now I just have to go ahead and make my saw cut at this one too. Okay, so here is that tip uh, that I was mentioning. Uh, once you've got the first piece on the back leg cut, you can certainly go ahead and measure off 17 and a quarter uh, and uh, rescribe your line, or just as a uh, easier way you can do what's called a transfer measurement so and just to make sure that I keep everything exactly the way I want so I'm just going to go ahead and line up that board that I just cut so let me grab my pencil here I got my board uh, that I just cut and I'm just going to transfer measure off of that board I don't have to worry about uh, being at say 22 degrees or 23 or exact I have the line exactly so that it will repeat exactly the same way as the uh, other leg uh, and I'm ready to go ahead and cut now I'm ready now to cut the front legs the uh, so I've got both of the back legs cut the front legs are actually 36 uh, inches long so I'm going to make my measurement again the same way. So I've got my tape measure on this farther edge. I'm going to come down and mark off my uh, 36 inch mark. So I've got my tick mark there. So now I could go ahead and use the uh, speed square to do this as well. But just so that I keep all of my angles the same, since I've already cut once. I'm just going to use one of these legs again. This is my little trick and my tip. Uh, I'll line this up. Now, when I do this, make sure that your the edge of your boards are in line with each other, so that you maintain and keep that 22 and a half degree or whatever you cut. But now I've got that, so I can go ahead and now use that board to lay out my line, and I'm ready then to uh, cut this, and these boards will match on my angle and I, I'm just transferring measure rather than using and setting up that uh, speed square again. So, so we'll do the same thing when we come back uh, to cut that last corner off uh, on the second leg. Um, so and then I'll just use this board when I cut. I'll pick, move it down, I'll mark it off um, and then we'll, our legs will be the same size. So I've finished my cuts. So I've got all of the pieces I need for this uh, project. I got my two back legs, which are 17 and a quarter inches long. Uh, I got my two front legs, which are uh, 36 inches long. I got the seat, which is 42 inches long. Uh, and then the backrest, uh, which is cut at 45 inches long. So, so now that they're all cut, uh, maybe just a little bit of grabbing a hand file or something to knock these burrs off just to kind of clean it up and I'm ready to start the assembly next.